All right, welcome back. So we have covered setting up the miner. Yes. And now we're going to talk about setting up your wallet. We've shown that you can actually do it on just general hardware, too. Yes. Like I was yes. getting 60 plus hashes per second on an old laptop in a virtual machine. Which was what? awesome. Yeah, so imagine I, that on your actual computer. I'm really excited about this portion because I have struggled this week with setting up a wallet. Okay. And making it work properly because there was a lot of back-end stuff that I didn't realize. I right. thought it was a simple, oh, I've got a wallet, but there right. was more to it. Now, there's a there's a caveat here. Now, okay. I'm going to be right straight up with you. Please do. The temptation is to find the easiest solution to setting up your wallet. Yes. I fell into this temptation. I made this mistake. And the easiest way is to find an online service that you can just go to their website and generate a wallet and you're done. Oh. That makes sense, right? And you can still access it and everything. But remember... Until you have mined to the threshold, it doesn't expel to your wallet. Right. So if I create a wallet online that is not in my control but is in the control of an online pro, uh, provider, then I have to mine until the threshold if I want to ever get cash out. Mm -hmm. If I don't, so if I mine for two weeks and I only get halfway to the threshold then basically I've wasted two weeks worth of mining power because it will never find its way to my wallet. Right. Okay. So instead, I'm going to recommend that you create your own wallet locally, something that you control, that you are not, you're not leaning on any online service in order to provide the wallet service, the right. wallet feature. Okay. Now, when it comes to wallets, yes. I just want to take like 30 seconds for this. You can, like Robbie's mentioned, you can get an online service to provide a wallet. Mm -hmm. You can do your wallet on your hard drive, like mm -hmm. remotely. You'll also the find... The wallet is in the blockchain. Yes. The information yeah. itself is in the blockchain. Right. You will also hear about paper wallets. That is where you're literally recording your information on a piece of paper. <laughs> and so depending on the research you're doing, you're going to hear about which is safer, which is better. Uh, in a nutshell, what people are saying from my research, and so mm. correct me if I'm wrong on this, is that with online services, you have the greater risk of your information being stolen because of potential sure. hacks. If it's on your hard drive and you have it done locally, it's a little bit more safe provided your computer itself is safe. And, and provided your wife doesn't throw out your hard drive. Well, that too. Right, <laughs> uh, Sasha? That happens. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> uh, you know, but obviously the most secure is paper, but that is the most cumbersome. So, you if know what? Paper is a great backup. Yes. So when you create your wallet on your computer, which is really just to generate a wallet, private keys and all that kind of stuff. So these keys are required in order to transact. Mm -hmm. So anyone can send me currency if they have my wallet address. Right. But they can't open that wallet. They can't remove money from that wallet unless they have the private keys. So right. that's where printing that information, putting it in a file folder, lock and key um, is a great way to have a backup so that if somebody throws out your hard drive that contains those private keys, you still have one that you can sit there and tediously type in. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's a, a bit of a fail safe. But realistically, as long as you've got a good backup and nobody else has access to those keys, then you're, you're good as mm -hmm. long as you've got a copy of it. Because it, it doesn't matter. My, my hard drive could crash. It doesn't matter as long as I've got those keys. Right. Whether they're on a paper copy or a digital copy. I just don't want anyone else to have access to them unless I die. Yeah, you don't want that. Because if I died and my wife didn't have my keys to open my cryptocurrency portfolio, that money is gone forever. Nobody will have access to that ever. Yep. Okay? So keep All that right. in the back of your mind. Okay. So we're going to learn about TurtleCoin. TurtleCoin is a lot of fun, and that's why I wanted to focus on it tonight. TurtleCoin is a new coin that's worth one Satoshi right now. It's fluctuated up to three Satoshi over the past couple of weeks, and it's brand new. Like, it came out in December and really started to make uh, to get noticed within the past month or so. Mm -hmm. It's been on uh, a couple of uh, podcasts, and, and we've been hearing about it. Uh, Kevin Rose had it on his new cryptocurrency podcast, uh, and... And um, the, what really striked Kevin and what really strikes me is that the community surrounding TurtleCoin is awesome. Yeah. Like when you go into their Discord, which is a chat, um, you get to know people and you ask your questions and they're very helpful. Um, yes. They're instant. Yeah. You never get the impression there that 
people are like, oh, I'm so sick of hearing this stupid question. No, they're like, oh, let me help you. Oh, yeah. here's a link to the documentation to show you. Here's the download. Um, and, and there's a lot of community kind of helping each other to gain the capability of doing TurtleCoin. Yes. So TurtleCoin right now worth nothing, essentially, but it's worth something. I mean, I've been mining it for two weeks and I've got like $14 in US dollars currency. So, I mean, it's something. And if that ever took off, then, you know, sky's the limit. They say it'll go to the moon. Um, Who knows? But again, not financial advice because we're not investing anything. We're not spending any money. We're just mining stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a turtle wallet tonight. So we're going to go to TurtleCoin dot l o l i I love that it's a meme coin (laughs) um and you know you can learn a little bit about the creators and and how you know fun loving they are just by looking at their website it's it's a cheeky site i like it it. really is cheeky uh so go to download and you can choose apple windows or linux we're going to go linux and you've got the cli download so this is kind of the pre-compiled stuff and you've got source code and everything else i wanted to show you that but we're not going to use it instead what we're going to do is we're going to compile it from source tonight because we want to have the latest and greatest version we want to have uh, all the latest features and we want it to be compiled for our computer Mm -hmm. so this is not mining software this is specifically to create our uh, capability of having a wallet locally and to create our own wallet offline so i'm just going to click on turtle coin so we're at github.com slash TurtleCoin slash TurtleCoin. And here are the instructions in order to compile it yourself. So first thing we need to do is grab this first line to download. Uh, oh, well, if you're on, sorry, that is for Mac OS or Ubuntu 16.04. You can just do it with one fell swoop. Easy peasy. Copy that line. You're done. Uh, I'm not on Ubuntu. I am on uh, Linspire. So instead, I'm going to scroll down to my prerequisites here, and we're going to build it ourselves and copy the first line, which is to install the dependencies. So we jump into our terminal and paste that line. And that's just going to go on to... Now, I have already done an apt update. Make sure you do that first, sudo apt update. And it tells me that everything is already installed and ready to go. So that's good. That means that I didn't need any of this, like build essentials, Python, and that kind of stuff is already installed on my computer. Great. Uh, You may not have that, so that's a very important line to paste. Now I'm going to paste this line, uh, which is these three lines, which is adding a repository to the PPA, and then it's updating uh, apt, and then it is installing RocksDB. Here it goes. That one's not going to take long. Don't worry about if not found and stuff. That's just my package manager. All right. And there we go. Oh, and it's already the latest version on here as well. So you may not see that. So it's still important to paste this, even though in my case, it was all good. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to jump into my CD slash TMP and I'm going to run these commands. And this particular process now the initial like cloning the github repository um making the directory c making and everything doesn't take very long but the final line that make line takes about 35 minutes to build the the software wow so because of that i wanted to make i wanted to pre-do it and i've accelerated things for you so We've pasted that into my terminal, and now it is running through super, super fast because I've accelerated this from 35 minutes to only 48 seconds. So that's the magic of television, folks. We learn from our mistakes when we try to install things live on the air. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We never make mistakes. <laughs> no, I've, I've never tried to install something on air before that takes three hours no. while we're live. Okay, so there you go. Um, looks like we're just about done yeah it's done once it's finished you'll know and everything compiles just fine so now i'm back on my live system we're no longer on pre-record and you can see that what it's done is it's created a folder turtle coin zero point and remember i went into temp first so in turtle coin zero three dot two here's all the files now there's a folder that was created called TurtleCoin. And in there is where everything was built. So I want to actually, I don't want that in temp because if I reboot my computer having created my wallet, I'm going to lose my wallet file. Right. Right? Because temp gets cleared out. Uh, So I'm going to move that to my home folder. So move, uh, which is MV in Linux, 
turtle coin to tilde slash. And now if I go into tilde slash, which is my home folder, slash home slash Robbie, it's the same, you'll see a folder called turtle coin. And if I go in there, it's what I had in temp previously. So now if I reboot, it's persistent. Now if I go into the source folder, I should see um, something called simple wallet. There it is. Uh, but let's see, I wanna go into build instead. And then in build, <laughs> Are you following me here? I am. Are you following me here, camera guy? <laughs> we're just selling snake oil. <laughs> so I'm in tilde slash, which is my home folder, turtle coin slash build slash SRC. That's where the built version is. And I can run now simple wallet. Now, when I run that, Jeff, the first thing it does is it asks me, you know, what do you want to do? You've never run this before. I want to generate a new wallet address. I'm going to press G and hit enter. What do you want to call your new wallet? I'm gonna call this Robbie Wallet. Enter. Give your new wallet a password. This should be super strong. Remember, anyone who has this password and this file can get your private keys, yes. okay? So, I'm gonna use test one, two, three. <laughs> Very <laughs> Having secure. said that. Okay, so now I have created a wallet. It says that it cannot connect to the blockchain because we have not synchronized the blockchain right. yet. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Um, but it is created on my local file system. So now I've got my spend key, my view key, my mnemonic seed, which is words that I can use to recover my wallet if I ever lose my keys. And I've got my actual turtle coin wallet address. So this is where people send me coin. And that's where I mine to. That's where I set my pool to point. That's the address itself for public consumption. That's where I accept payments and donations. Right. Now, if I do uh, balance 0.0.0, .0 of course, and I'm going to type exit. So you'll see another file here called Turtle Coin D. If I run that, what's going to happen is it's going to download the entire blockchain to my computer. That's going to take a couple hours at least. And once it's there, I have to have Turtle Coin D running all the time if I want to open my wallet because right. it needs to be able to synchronize to the blockchain. All making sense? Yes. The blockchain is thousands and thousands of computers all communicating the wallet information and currency um, transfers and everything and the blocks themselves all to one another. So now, rather than doing that today, it's a good idea to do that from a network standpoint because then you are building the network by adding one more daemon to the network and here's another copy of the blockchain. It adds redundancy and it adds, um, you know, it's, it's better for um, privacy and things like that to have it running. But in our case, because of the sake of the TV show, we don't want to download something that's going to take two and a half hours and instead we're going to use the public um, blockchain. So I'm going to type dot slash simple wallet and please note here on Linux, I type dot slash simple wallet. On Windows, just type simple wallet. On Mac, it's going to be dot slash simple wallet as well. So the commands are the same, regardless of whether you're on Windows or Mac, just that the installation process will be a little bit different. So in order to use the public wallet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, first of all, I'm going to assign my wallet file, which I called, well, if I could type Robbie wallet, okay, file equals Robbie wallet. And, or no, I don't need an equals. I just need a space, don't I, Jeff? Sorry. There we go. You ready for this? Because this is something that you were looking for. Yes, it, <laughs> it was. Here's the key thing. Daemon dash dash, daemon dash host. And we're going to go daemon dot turtle dot link. And then dash dash daemon dash port. This is the port for the daemon. 11898. Hit enter. Enter the password for my wallet. Test one, two, three. And now it's opened my wallet and it is syncing the blockchain with my wallet and it's communicating with that blockchain that's publicly hosted. And then right. it's going to share that block information with everyone else. So now I can start accepting currency on my wallet because right. my wallet is synced to the blockchain. Okay. Yes. So confusing and yet so easy once we get our head around it. So the steps are if you want to mine, you need a miner but you need to have a wallet if you want to mine to yourself. And if you're using a pool, you need to know that the threshold is when it will flush that money that you've mined into your cryptocurrency wallet. So if you're not seeing something coming into your wallet right away, check that threshold. Maybe you right. haven't met it yet. Yep. That's all. 
It's finished. It's loaded up. There you go. It's awesome. Done and done. I didn't have to sync the blockchain. That's just a quick way around it anyways. Right. So find out more. Uh, go to cat5.tv slash miners to grab the Category 5 TV miners, which is going to help support the shows that you love here. Uh, but it's also going to get you started with a pre-built, ready-to-go version of the mining software that you need in order to mine cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. right. Now, while you were doing your... Uh review there of how to install it. We had a question in the chat room. Uh, a few months ago, you did a, a tester, an electricity tester. Yes. Has, have Put you tried in. running that no. to see how, what the... I haven't yet. But you know, there is that. I mean, people can, can say, uh, well, m mining uses electricity. And that's true. Your computer has to be on 24-7. Now, when I'm sitting at my computer anyways and working away, it's, it's on. I'm, I'm yeah. using it. Um, but um, you can do that. Yeah, test the electricity if you... Um, there's so many different perspectives to it. Again, this is not financial advice. So, but know that, yeah, it's going to cost money to mine in that you're using electricity when your computer's mining. But the idea is, the hope is, that that turtle that I'm mining today, if I can get 10,000 of those, and then all of a sudden they become worth a dollar each... Boom. You pay for your electricity. It, not that it's going to happen, not that I'm promising anything, but if it did, and if not, it's a cheap form of entertainment. Well, exactly. And I mean, <laughs> for myself, the idea of starting with something as easy to use as TurtleCoin mm -hmm. is helping me wrap my head around this and work through the bugs within my thinking of how this works. And so I've enjoyed it. TurtleCoin.lol. And part of it, Jeff as we get into crypto mining is that community yes so knowing that if i am stuck if i need help i can get into discord and you can find that on their website as well and it's easy to get help mm -hmm. and people are willing to help yeah and, and it's cool i've enjoyed it's it. a lot of fun it's a lot of fun yeah it is